I just want to make a quick video on how to do a really simple death counter on stream elements. I just want to do like a quick one because anytime I look up how to do anything on stream elements, I always get links in videos on how to do it on stream labs, or get like a really complicated YouTube video like showing you how to do it the old way or that's really hard, or you know, a video that has a small little tidbit of what you actually need, and you gotta kind of scope the um, you know sponge through to find what you actually need. So I just want to use them quick so, to the point here. Um, because especially with Elden Ring being out, I figured a lot of people might be wanting um death counters to their stream, kind of like I did. Um, so mine's kind of go with the coffee theme, of course, it's kind of coffee. Um, but mine's the special shots. I'm at a cumulative 126 over a couple streams, so it was really easy to do. Let me switch from game display to um display ca or to display capture. <clears throat> so I have the command set up for it. Commands are pretty easy if you weren't aware as well. If you click on command variable, which is the tab here. It actually has a lot of the um, the basic code for getting the death counter actually going where it's keeping track of the numeric values. And it has examples of the coding here, or what the actual coding is, an example of how to use it, and what it kind of does for you. Which I'll also put in the description, or in the pin post below here. So for mine, I have a exploration point deaths command. So the death counter is cumulative for this playthrough, explaining it. Current count, and then it has the code to get the current count. I have Exploration Death Plus that for subscribers and up, they can add to my death count. Um, so it adds me, I spilt the beans, um, then it has a code for adding one to the count. It automatically does like a one step with that coding. And it's just based on your keyword death. So any, so anytime you use that again, it associates a numeric value with that word. Then I can also reset it really easily. Um, so this code here, right now we can set the zero. Which is fantastic, great. If you change that zero to another number, so like if I were to actually reset my 126 to zero, I could come in here, change this coding, change that zero to 126, bring my death count out to 126. Um, there's not like a flexible coding for like changing it on the spot. Like if I do explanation point, set death to 300, I don't think there's a code for me to do that. If I'm wrong, please go ahead and post at the bottom. I I can't figure it out if there is. <laughs> it's supposed to support variables, but I'm not sure what the coding is for that because it doesn't really give me an example of that either. Um, but the big thing is, how do we get a visual representation of this on your scene um, very easily without, you know, having to make a big fuss about it? So if you just go into your um, your current your current scenes, your overlays, um, you can see I have it set for death special shots already. So this is the actual scene. This is the one's coming through in OBS. We come down in here into the plus, and then you go to labels. It's really unintuitive. <laughs> you go to other, and you go to bot counter. And we're almost done. So you click on your bot counter. It is set by default to current wins with wins in the brackets. You just change wins to whatever numeric value you're keeping track of. So in my case, it'd be death. Um, and then you just change this to whatever you want it to be. So like I changed the Despresso. So if I were to click on mine, for example, you can see the message is death special shots, um, your colon, and then in, bra in squiggly line brackets, death. So it keeps track of my current count on that. And that's all there is to it. Um, it's really easy. It's really simple. Your viewers really like it. It was it was way too hard to figure out how to do this online by searching it. So like I said, that's why I wanted to make this video and help others out there. So if, if it helped you out, hey, feel free to leave a sub on my YouTube channel. If or if you do the Twitch thing, hey, pop over and say hi on Twitch. I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise, take care. Have a good one.